everybody, it's Future Inventions here, and I am going to show you iMovie for the iPad 2. So this is my review of it, basically. Oops, YouTube. So, uh, here's the iMovie application icon right there. Let's go into it. And that's pretty cool. Uh, there's a sound. It makes this cool neonish sound. And it brings you to kind of uh, this movie theater kind of thing. It's really cool with the play, whatever they call that. I don't remember. But anyways, so you have all your projects here. You can tap and go into them. And uh, then you have your whole editing station, whatever. But before we go into that, I'll show you a little bit more about the menu. So also over here we have um, some help down in this corner. Here you can make a new project. Uh, you can play your movie. Okay. You can also um, export your movie to, let's see, okay. Camera Roll, YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, and CNN I Report, but I have no idea what that is. And you can also send it to iTunes, so when you plug your iPad into the computer, it'll show up in iTunes, and that's pretty cool. Uh, also, we have we can copy this from iTunes. I, I don't know what that is. Probably um, so that you can put a save on... No, wait. I have no idea. So then we can also delete a project. Yeah, let's delete it. So I'm going to make a new project. Let's start that out. Now, first off, say I don't have any videos yet. I want to record some video. So you just tap right over here. There's a video button right there. And it'll start that. So now you can see, like, oh. Why is the... Oh, right. Ha ha ha. Okay, so you can see me. Hi. There I am. And, and the camera right here. And... Now we are recording some video for our movie, so then to stop it, just stop it like that. It'll you can play it back, you can retake it, and you can hit use and use, and it will automatically put it in there. You can also take uh, photos here, and you can also add your own voice to it. So. Here you have a volume meter, and the sound the the sound is actually really good. So uh, from the microphone on the iPad. So now we're oh. So now we're recording something that we are recording. So we recorded that, and we have a few options here. Accept, accept. There we go. So now we're recording some So you can see um, that's what we just recorded. Also, I can go over here to previous videos that I took. I just tap it, tap it, and it'll put it wherever the cursor is. So this is a video that I actually made before. It's a YouTube video. So pretty cool. Let's actually get rid of that because I'm going to use a different example. So to get rid of something or edit it, you just double tap. You can delete it. You can change the location, title, style. You can put titles on any clip. And you can change the volume or even mute it. So we'll just uh, delete it. Okay, so I'll just pick a different random clip. Pick that clip. You can see there's sound with it. Again, I can mute it. And now a cool thing here is that for the transitions, uh, we can tap this little thingy and slide it down. And now we can, whoops, what just happened? Now we can actually move this so we can move how, mu how long the transition is. And we can also move where it takes place. So that's really cool. And you really have to understand it by trying it. So, now let's try to play it. Now we are recording some video for us. So now we're recording something that we are recording. There's my weird cactus. 
cactus. So, now that we have that, maybe we want to add titles. Yes, titles. So, um, to choose which titles and whatever we want, we go right here. Uh, ahem. Go right here. Here we go. What what was that? That was kind of stupid. So, there we have everything. We can uh, go up here. Now it's back. And we can choose the theme. There are all kinds of different themes. News, CNN, uh, Simple, Neon. I like Neon because it's pretty cool. Um, you can also turn on theme music. So it'll put music over everything. You can change the volume of the music and your clips still you can fade the whole video in from black or out to black and uh, you can choose to loop the background music or not so pretty cool we'll just choose this and now to put titles on a video we can double tap it go to title style you can have one at the beginning through the pretty much the entire video or the end and they're really really helpful for pretty much anything you can also go and add photos let's go and add random picture my dog that's pretty good and uh, you can see what's cool is that um, you can move around the photo so you can start in one part of the photo so there's a start and then you can go to another part of the photo and then click end and then done so then it'll go like that it's just like you wanted so that's pretty cool and there you go so uh, we can also add audio so you can have sound effects Actually, I didn't even know that was there until I checked. You can have all kinds of sound effects. Um, music from your library, but of course that's copyrighted. And they work pretty well. You can also have the theme music, of course. So, it's a really nice interface. Of course, you can change the volume of the music or delete it. It's a really nice interface. Occasionally, it does do this weird freezing thing like that, uh, but it's really nice. And then to export, you just go to My Projects and go there. And it's really, really cool, very useful, but it does have that crappy, annoying um, glitch. So, see you guys.